Okay, so how do you trust God if you don't trust anyone who talks about God? Well, you know, this is the... Well, so there's, there's the belief, I don't trust. You know, like, for example, I don't trust people who talk about God. Or I don't trust people, you know, uh, uh, who, who belong to that political party or whatever it is. So it's a belief. And that can be, those beliefs can be picked up in, from various experiences. But it's the lack of, the lack of trust and who do you trust. So, uh, and that usually comes from having had bad experiences or being programmed in a certain way through programming. Um, or past experiences and associations, um, which then, uh, so you're wired up that way. Uh, but the thing of like, um, and the question, how do you, so the, I mean, trusting, you don't need a, you don't need, in my view, you don't need a, you don't need to go to a belief system to get uh, trust. I mean, essentially it's trust. Yeah, you can, I mean, the, lack, the word God, if you let go of the word God and let go of the word belief in trusting in people, then it, it, how do you get to the place of trust? And the place of trust or the place of God is the place of, um, of deprogramming everything that one has been programmed through. You know? So, um, uh, that 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 and how do you do that? Well, I'd say like if, if you listen to this video, uh, uh, it's the place of letting go of everything, and I'd say you don't have to trust. I mean, I'd explore. I mean, only do this if it resonates with you. But let go of the need to trust people to find God, uh, and let go of the thing of trusting. Uh, there's also the thing of trusting your programming. So, uh, having the program of distrust. So if you just work on letting that go, not, I mean, you know, and I will also say, I mean, yes, I can, I can buy in the program of distrusting people or distrusting people talking about God, but I'm talking about getting to a place within yourself without using people of trust, you know. So in order to get to a place of trust within yourself, you'd have to let go of the belief in distrust. Uh, so you just, uh, so you let, you're letting go of that thought, that program. Uh, and you letting go, uh, I would let, you can also let go of the need to trust people, or even people who talk about God. Uh, because if you hold the belief that I distrust, whether it's a person or yourself, because also to hold the thing of, you know, you could say what goes out goes in. So if you distrust people who talk about God, you're also having a limiting belief in distrust. So if you have a limiting belief, if you believe, so you're actually having faith in distrust. Uh, so that's the limiting belief. So you're never going to get to a place of the innocence of trust if you're holding to that. So I'd say, uh, if this makes sense, let go of the belief in distrust, the lim limiting belief, or cancel the belief in distrust. Uh, I'm not saying that you should trust people who talk about God. Uh, and then you, it's getting to that place of um, presence, which is unsullied by limiting beliefs. Uh, which is beyond uh, trusting in people or trusting in your ego, trusting in your ego's limited ideas. Because if you trust in your belief systems, which is that, which is what I said, um, how do I get to God if I if I don't trust people who talk about God? Well, you have to. You know, for me, the problem is not. Uh, well, I mean, trusting people can lead to serious problems. Of course, yes not disagreeing with that, but also trusting your thinking and your limited programming can lead to problems. So I'd say like that's the more core problem, is it's more intimate than uh, even outside people how you get to because what why do you want to trust people? Why do you want to get to God? I mean in, and where is God? Is God in the person who talks about God? Is God in your own limited ideas and thinking? Or is God in letting all of that go and getting to a place of trust? Trust, I would say, is emptiness or letting go of all limited ideas which block you off from the innocence, the infinite presence that you are, which is uh, beyond all limited ideas, thoughts, all faith in thoughts and faith in bodies and faith in all kinds of projections. So, if and now how would you get that without 
you know, I mean, uh, if you listen to the video, I mean, it's a place of intuitiveness. You know, it does this intuitively in your heart, shall we say, beyond your thoughts, in your deepest limitless self, does it intuitively make sense to drop everything? And experience, and is that a place that's worth trusting? Or do you want to trust your limited ideas and programs that you've taken on board? And I'm not saying you should trust pe people necessarily. So that would be, because for me the thing of distrust and trust is that, you know, I think the implication is someone wants to get to a place of freedom. So, I mean, and, and God refers to freedom, that place of absolute freedom. So, and the traditional idea is, well, who, which person are you going to trust to get there? Well, you know, I mean, yes, I think some people do lead you down the wrong path. But then also, I think your programming can also lead you into prison as well. Mm -hmm. well and mm -hmm. your experiences can lead you into prison. And you're still not going to get to the place that you really need to get to. So uh, am I telling you to trust my words? I'm not telling you to trust my words. I'm telling you to trust your heart and your intuition and go with that. Now, I'm not saying like just trust every single word I'm going to say. Um, but anyway, that's, I'll stop there.